welcome to Wait Again Minute Podcast. Our topic tonight is pillow talk. Hmm. Now, what does pillow talk mean to you? Well, tonight is a perfect night. I mean, it's raining outside. It's cold. You have on your favorite PJs. You have a nice cold glass of wine. And you're ready to find out what pillow talk means to us. So stay tuned. But as always, share our live. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and also YouTube. Stay tuned to Wait a Damn Minute. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Wait a Damn Minute. So tonight we're going to be talking about pillow talk. I want y'all to be involved, ask questions, chime in. Um, What does pillow talk mean to you? My definition to pillow talk is expose the secrets. Um, So... Drop y'all cash out. 
And put y'all pictures on. Let's see who got their pajamas on. Chime in, y'all. Who had the PJs on? Because I gave y'all a little uh, spill yesterday. I told y'all, wear your PJs. Send the pictures in. Let me know. Uh, get your PJs on. And then my seniors. Any seniors, parents with seniors. Send the information in. We want to give out something. We're going to pick someone. Um, how are they going to how they, how we pick how how pick on the number? I think it's yeah. 1 through 40. One through forty, one through forty. Okay. Um, forty. Make sure this is for the um, this is for the people with seniors coming out of school. Mm -hmm. uh, one through forty, and later on we'll have another little giveaway. Later on we'll go back and see who posted that picture with their PJs on. Okay. Oh, so that's two giveaways. Two giveaways. Two different ones. Two giveaways. Mm -hmm. One with your pajamas on. Again, let's let's get it, y'all. Post later. Post your pajamas. Share it. Um, number one through forty. Scary mm -hmm. and um, cash out is it cash out, cash out your name yeah. with your number. That's right, cash out your name with your number, and also for the for the senior, the seniors, they do want a cash run for that too, right? Mm -hmm. uh, um, cash out, you want the seniors to both take cash out, their parents or seniors, oh, the parents of the seniors, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, so the so the seniors or the parents have to pick one through 40 for their senior along with the cash out, right? Brock, okay. Okay, so everyone, you hear that? We want you to go ahead on and pick your numbers. One through four. Is there a certain time on that? Uh -huh. Some of us already we'll announce the pajamas. We we'll announce it. Just wait okay. start sending it in. So we we'll announce it before the end of the just show. Just start sending them in. Okay, so make sure you stay tuned now, so you can make sure you win. Because when we announce your number, you need to be on live to know that we announce your number. I don't know about y'all. I'm ready to talk about pussy. Yeah, go ahead, so, on, girl. Go ahead. Jump right on. Jump right on. Jump right on. Yeah. So when do you feel it's off? When do you feel pillow talk is off limits? When do I feel like pillow talk? When do y'all feel like pillow talk is off limits? I think pillow talk is off limits with your significant other. Like, if your best friend or close close friend or even a family member, a close family member, tell you something that's really personal. I don't think you should be having pillow talk with your significant other about that. And that's true. Because if they judge it, they can judge off of that in a bad way. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, and then if you and that significant other no longer significant in the next couple of months or the next year, you can tell something. Yeah, right. that's something. something. Mm -hmm. I feel like pillow talk should be off limits if it's a one night stand. Because you can yeah. have pillow talk about other things with a one night stand. But I feel like if, if it ain't that, like you said, that connection, that bad with somebody mm -hmm. you really can trust, you don't told somebody a deep dark secret because you got to tell somebody. Somebody got to tell somebody. Tell somebody. Oh, not even somebody else. Yeah. Deep dark secret. You didn't told your own. Right. Because you didn't get to talking and it just went too far. You didn't told them everything about you. And then they said, you know, you're not even talking to them. And I don't know all of uh, the. Right. I'm so glad I've done it in my younger days. But yeah, this one is all really going to get messy. Tell somebody that stuff. And then tell it to somebody that is what I said. Somebody that really, you know, you don't deal with. Right. Them. Right. I personally feel like it, it it should be limit it should be limited to who the person is that you have a pillow talk with. Like you said, everybody that you're laying with, even if it's not a one night stand, some people again will go back to the sneaky links. Some people have sneaky links that they lay up with. Right. And they tend to lay there a little too long. And right. they talk talking and, mm -hmm. and running their mouth. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't run your mouth with them sneaky links. Just right. like you sneak in with them, mm -hmm. they gonna sneak and run whatever you told them that they weren't supposed to tell. Exactly. You supposed to know who you're laying with before you share certain things with them. Cause exactly. I can share a whole book with a guy that I've been with for years, on top of years, on top of years. That you know what I'm saying with hold that. In because a lot of and I and I think it's a difference when you when you have a pillow talk and this might be me. Do y'all think it's a difference when you have a pillow talk with with um with someone that you that you because a lot of people don't know who they land with. That's that's another thing. That's true. That's true. A lot of people don't know who exactly who they land beside. When you get a pillow talk with somebody, you gotta know you gotta be able to confide in that person. It, it had to be it had to be conversations way before y'all even hit that puller to know that you could trust that person. That's true. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Because before you get to the puller, it, it was conversations at the table. It was conversations out, you know, above, uh, way before you That's got true. to that puller. 
So I just feel like you gotta be you 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 gotta keep in mind who you're pull of talking with. And right. yes, it should be and what you're talking about. What you're talking about because who you're talking about. Mm-hmm. How you how you talk about it. Because some people don't leave out stuff. They judge the situation. Mm-hmm. And they'll hold you accountable for something else that you're talking about. It don't really it, even it it, it it's not even reference to you, but they'll hold it accountable to you. Okay. And that's true. I agree with that. I agree with all that. Because first of all, like you said, if you with someone and you're chit chatting about whatever's going on now, if you're chit chatting about your dreams, your aspirations, what you want to do, that's one thing. Mm-hmm. But when you get into like deep personal stuff, that's a whole nother thing. But what about if you have a pillow talk with someone and um you tell them something, right? And then just say six months down the road, or maybe even a year down the road, and what you told them in pillow talk, you hear about it again. Mm-hmm. Cause they'll do that. They you know, so, you, so therefore they went back and told something. Now suppose you told them something that your friend did, mm-hmm. not something that you have going on, but something one of your homegirls mm-hmm. did yeah. or was going on. And now they done went back and shared that information. Your homegirl found out about it. Just some hurtful stuff there. Right. It's being messed Now that's also mm-hmm. that's also you now you're breaking the trust. They broke the the person you pillow talking with broke the trust with you. Mm-hmm. But you broke the trust with them. Mm-hmm. With your friend. Right. So now you might not even be with that person anymore. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, then you don't have the relationship with the friend with the friend. Mm-hmm. So you don't know, the friend. And how about like with the person in the pillow talk? Exactly. And how about the pillow talk when um, they said, "Tell me, tell me about yourself and like your desires and stuff like that," and they learn you, mm-hmm. right? And bring it and come right back yeah. and learn you to hurt you. Mm-hmm. You gotta be careful of mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. telling people your weakness mm-hmm. because when you tell them your weakness mm-hmm. and the beginning, they all forward, they got your back. Or oh, I ain't gonna do this, I ain't gonna do that. So I have learned from experience. Don't tell people my fears and my weaknesses too soon. Mm-hmm. Right. So you get this matter, get the norm, just to fill them out. Mm-hmm. Because telling them too much too early can can, can kind of haunt you later, mm-hmm. and it can mess you up later. Right, and that's and that's true. <clears throat> that's that's true. So you do have to be careful, or either you telling them a weakness about something, or you telling them something. They that, prey on your weakness. Right. They prey on it. So then they say, oh, well, I'm not gonna do that. But my thing is. Okay, I'm telling you my weakness or I'm telling you my fears or whatever, and you're asking me these questions. Sometimes I look at things like, okay, there's a reason, there's a motive. Why you need to know all of that? Mm-hmm. You just be who you are because now I, I look at it like this. Now they're trying to be who they think you want them to be because you didn't talk about past mm-hmm. um, relationships. So they say, oh, I'm not going to do that. But once they get you in good, it's like you will me in. Just to do exactly what you already said that you don't like or you already been through or whatever the case may be. So, but that's the weakness. That's yeah. that's a weak. That's a weakness for a lot of us. Right. A lot of us are weak when we hit the bedroom. Mm-hmm. Mm, do you think your certain thing will come out? out? Is that before or after? Or maybe you didn't have sex at all. Right. You think that's before sex, after sex, or maybe no sex? No, but when you get to the point where you're laying with someone, mm-hmm. it, it, so you say y'all connect somewhere. Mm-hmm. Y'all connect with somewhere. Even, mm-hmm. even if sex is not involved, right. y'all are connected. You back or somewhere. You're back, okay. yeah. Y'all so emotionally that. connected mm-hmm. somewhere yeah. mm-hmm. when you decide to hit that pull over that person. Mm-hmm. You you can't really say, and I, I, I never say you can't say it, but 90% of us can't say we're not emotionally attached to somebody that we decide to take to the bedroom with. Mm-hmm. So you weak already. So you you feeling enough comfort you you feeling enough confidence to say, guess what? Or just, you know what happened? Or you know, mm-hmm. yeah. You feel you feel comfortable with, with doing that. So I, I feel like like you were saying, Rob, weakness comes right there. And 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 again, it's like what's off limits when you when we when we're talking about pillow talk. What's what's really like off limits? I think off when it comes to pillow talk off limits, I I really believe that 
how I look at it. Telling your best friend dark secret just to tell somebody. Because you got to so you got to be careful that like Shante just said, mm -hmm. it can come out later on and it can really mess up a good friendship. Mm -hmm. Um I have to remember my job sometimes. Keep it, I guess, keep it clean. Keep it neutral. Because when you start talking about what your girlfriend did and what they, some whole shit they done done, mm -hmm. then you know, oh, you doing it too. They yeah. might not tell you why you ain't getting an earful. Mm -hmm. But they'll be like, well, yeah, because if your homegirl did it, you, you did it too, but they'll wait till later on. But they say birds are going to fall flock together. And what y'all, how y'all feel about that? You know, birds going to fall together. I ain't flocking with nobody. I ain't flocking, but I'm just saying, it's some things going on. And I'll be like, just take me home. I ain't going. I ain't <laughs> and they ain't going to say nothing in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But they'll come back, as you said, six months later, that last way and throw in face. I just feel like us females talk too much. Pull a talk. Cause the guys don't, don't, cause guys don't, they don't hold it. But it's, and that's I know how, at least that's how it used to be. I know that's how these guys talk more than us. But mm -hmm. back in the day, I used to want to know bad what was going on. You know, not, you know, boo, his friend. Mm -hmm. He ain't gonna tell on them. Like, that was yeah. his whole, he, I never knew mm -hmm. about his homeboy, deep dark secrets, or who he's smashing. But we talk too much. Yeah. Now, with that being said, because I was about to say we that. We talk too much. much. I was about to say that because do you think now, I would say, I don't think guys really do talk as much. It's us. us. Yeah, it's really us, and they're listening, and they might ask a couple of questions to add you on to give you more so you can get a more information. Mm -hmm. We but talk too much. Do you think nowadays, and that might have been the case before, but do mm -hmm. you think nowadays that there's a lot of guys that do talk? I think the guys talking there, it's like another whole generation. A lot of hating going on. Everybody trying to compete with each other. They want to be yeah. a man. They want to be on top of everything. And sometimes they pull a talk. To me, guys are a little bit more messy. Yeah. They won't like that yeah. sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And I think but so too. It's getting bad now because you know you see people there say these guys talk more than the females. Female. Um, but deeply back then and then I think us females, we talk too much. Not she the rock, but because <laughs> see, I don't learn my lesson. You ain't gonna be knowing about people's stuff, and you know you get that little feeling like you know, going on Facebook, they scroll, and you see all these subliminal posts. I can say you talk about me because I ain't saying shit about no bad. I ain't saying about no bad because they'll do that too. Yeah, yeah, her stuff through pillow mm -hmm. talk, and then I don't see it done. Mm -hmm. Oh, I use it because so and so told me this and that. And they go around and you people put some in the posters up and then people just comment and know what's going on. And then the one that said, let me share it, you talking about them. And it's all from pillow talk. See, I, I don't know. Cause I'm like, cause I don't know. I'm going I'm, to I'm agree with you on the part that us women do. We, we're talking. Right. We got to get in the bed. And like I said, he, you know what I do? You know, get all excited, but we, you know, we, we know something. And it ain't just, ain't just always dark secrets. It's just stuff that you That's just stuff heard that you or mean. seen or call before yep. a man catch because you right. know us women we, we tend to be a little nosy too we tend to catch a couple more things before a guy brush it off and be like i ain't paying no attention to that like what you mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so i don't i i don't know about the the man that you know like the really much pull the i mean i don't know because i've been trying to pull the talk a couple times with my man and he, he don't like it no nah, he'll shut up he'll kiss me or something and i'll be like did you just remember that thing? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to talk. So it's a speech. And you were shaking me right up with like a kiss or something like that. Like, you know what I'm here. Yeah, like you just told me three different things that I'm not interested in. So, like, I can't, I can't relate. A lot of guys can't relate to what you're saying because mm -hmm. it does not pertain to them. They don't care. They just care less what's going on. So, you know, some guys, not all guys, you know, uh, will pull us off. But some guys just be like, I'm not trying to hurt that Right. Shit. And, and, I don't know that and one of my past relationships that I was in for a while, it was to the point he hardly pulled a talk about other, like, you, I never knew what went on with him, his friends. And he did not like to hear me on the phone gossiping. Like, he did, like she said, don't care, don't want to hear that stuff. Girl, now, I don't want to be talking to somebody and you pull a talk, but he pulled a talk more than you. Yes, I think that would turn to me, me it would turn me off because that's female tennis is talk yeah. too much. I don't want no guy to win. I don't. Yeah, I'm trying to think about how I even had friends like that in the past that just wanted to talk more than me. And I don't, I don't know if I can really, I don't know 
don't know. I don't know if I can relate to somebody that want to talk more than me. I think pretty much all my, you know, my significant others, even from the past, have been solid enough to, you know, listen. Somehow I talk more into it than others, but not so much of, you know, yeah. just coming out with being all catty like that. Uh -huh. You right. know what I'm saying? I don't care. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be interested. That would turn me off. Mm, that would one, turn me off. That would turn me off one because it's like, okay, if you talking more than me, or if you talking more than the next chick, like you said, girls tend to talk more than most men. Mm -hmm. So if you are talking more than I am, I have a problem with that. Yeah. It's like, oh my God, you you really kind of talk to me, aren't you? Like, talk you're talking a lot. Mm -hmm. Then it's like, are you telling your friends? Like, what's going on here? Then right. who, who else are you talking to? Exactly. Like, it's, yeah, I, I couldn't. We got questions? We have more comments. We have a comment by Bobby Fields. He says, you shouldn't be laying with no one if you are you two aren't married. That isn't Christian-like. <laughs> well, <really? laughs> <laughs> well, you know, some of us, you know, God, God forgive us for our sins. And, you know, all of us not married. I don't know why I'm not married. I don't know what's going on. But, um, sir, you know, we tend to... Lay and talk. <laughs> they got to be married. He's so extra. Oh my God. I mean, and, and, you, and you shouldn't have kids without wedlock. You shouldn't, either. but it happens. So, you know, things happen. It has happened. happened. I mean, we, we do get ahead of ourselves, but God forgives us, you know. He, 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 I mean, do, do he like pull us off? He pull us off? Tell us, I'm not even married. You married, no. sir? Any more questions? We're going to get there. We're going to get there. I we know. have. Um, Jaleesa, she says, pillow talk to me is when you wind down and you're in bed before you go to sleep. Exactly. You talk to your yes. significant other, share about your day or whatever. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. that's me. I cannot pillow talk about anyone else because I'm in my own lane. Exactly. And it comes with maturity. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's the thing. You want to, it is time to wind down. And it can be after sex, before sex, or just actually getting tucked in bed and not having sex. You know, right now we have Ida. She says, Guys talk more than women. Y'all right. agree? They talk with their friends, but not with us. Like I said, some some guys do talk, some some guys do talk more than women. They do, yeah, a lot of guys. But they, 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 are, they ain't gonna pillow talk with this that, that person too much. And too. then, and then, guys, yeah. guys are more are, are more conscious of who they talk to, too, who they pull mm -hmm. talk to. Oh, yeah. Guys, every guy that you lay with. Is not going to talk to you like he would talk to another female. So if a guy is a guy is with you and he and he and he lay with somebody else, you know that's just like if he if a guy with you and he cheating, right? He'll talk to you more and be more open with you, maybe more than he'll be with her, or sometimes it's vice versa. Sometimes it's like it's more. That's messy. It's messy. I don't know why. Because again. I'm gonna go back to what this go getter said. It gives that sad chick stuff to throw at the female mm -hmm. of the main girl mm -hmm. when they find out. Mm -hmm. Oh well, I heard you this, this, and that. You lay there on your wash the dishes and don't keep washing dishes. Don't keep washing the clothes. <laughs> you messy <laughs> dry. You got problems. <laughs> your ass don't want to cook. You want to lose weight. Get on weight. Send it. Send it. So what, 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 don't want to give nothing. But always want to receive something. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's talking that yeah. goes on it's with me, right. but it's limited. I don't think us as women have too many limits when it comes to it, just right. about us, you know, about ourselves or about our day it, it, for all that it's worth. And for those who just came on, drop me cash out names and your numbers. For so all those that just came on to join us, please make sure y'all cash out your name and your number. Drop all that. But if you have seniors that graduate. And if you have seniors. But also, post a picture of your pajamas because that's another um cash out prize that we're doing. And right. share, share, share the um, podcast. We, we have Tria. She okay. said, letting your significant other in on how your day was and just adding a splash of tea. You can't give them too much, though. Y'all right. agree you think that you that's can't right. give them too much information? You can't. You can't. Share so much with them, 
maybe so, you know, maybe not. But if it's your spouse, I can understand if you did mm -hmm. um, share a lot um, with them. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I can see that because although you can get, you know, you and your spouse can separate on divorce, right? But you have to go through a little bit more. <laughs> you have to go through a little bit more. You know, if it's <laughs> and I'm like, look, if, if you land with somebody, with Matt Blasty, if I'm land with you, I, I might not have always been with you, but that's all of being my spouse or, mm -hmm. or taking it to the next level. I ain't gonna right. say that. Right. But it, it's 2020. We're going through a pandemic. If you land with somebody right now, hopefully it's somebody <laughs> that you might just feel like. You might be somewhere ugly. with. It's gonna be your husband that you yeah, have that's hope that's I am being your husband. So like Bobby can say, I might not have my husband yet, but hopefully, yes indeed, I pray every night that that's one man's that, my husband. Well, that's so it can't and everything, yeah. it, it depends on the chemistry. You know, and again, we're full of talk. You can feel when you should say something and when you should just shut the hell up. Me, I feel like if that, if, 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 I feel like I should just shut the hell up and say, <laughs> Okay, you looking to get married? Huh? You looking to get married soon? Yeah, I'm not even getting married. Well, I can get married. Yeah, I'm not even getting married. I'm not even getting married. Okay, I'm gonna talk myself into another baby. Oh yeah, all the good things I'm looking forward to. So, any questions? Yeah. So with that, we had Marquise to say <laughs> he definitely don't talk at all. <laughs> he, he don't do that pillow talk. He cut off quick. <laughs> <Tell me. laughs> she said, he shut up. And me and Ayo, like I said, just so he on mute. He be on mute too. Yeah, I'm not, but, but he be on mute to stuff that he don't even got to be on mute to because I don't really be talking about nothing like that intense that he just got to be like, Oh, I'm just gonna shut up about that. Like it's stuff that I asked him that I want him to talk about. But when we that bad, it's just like he's just on another level. He he just is like, that think about that. Like he I just probably him to oh, talk oh. more at a dinner table than I can when he hit that foot. When he uh -huh. hit that foot, I'm like, this ain't hit. I thought he was saying something else. No. Yeah. <laughs> when you say hit the foot, when he hit that foot, and that's what I see here. We just want to. He's not gonna. the man is because some men take pillow talk as women gossiping. Y'all think so? And that's true. Because we'll tell you something. They don't, like I said, most guys don't like the, they don't want to be around gossip. Be, like yeah. I said, the pair of this show was in, if I had to gossip, I'd run another room because it just went off on. Right. Like, bro, I don't want to hurt it. I don't want to hurt it. And that's the real man. They just don't like it. He's the, you have other things to do wrong than send the phone and gossip. So I try to mm -hmm. even move around. Them. Most mm -hmm. guys a real yeah. true man. They don't, they don't like it. And that's my situation. That's my situation when, when, when you know, baby walking the door or something like that. If I'm glassing, like I said, it don't always have to be on the phone. Mm -hmm. If I'm glassing at all, if I'm on the phone in the mid conversation, and somebody talking or running their mouth, I got a tendency of talking on speakerphone myself. Me too. So I just go ahead and dead the conversation yeah. right then. I'll call you that. Because yeah. he don't always say like that. That I don't want to hear that shit, man. Like, can you just shut up? You know, so we do tend to talk, like you said, we talk. That's when we talk, 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 we don't realize how much 
how much um it, it refers to us gossiping. And a lot of guys just do not, definitely don't want to hear that. So that does, that is a good thing. I think that's, that's a great thing with men because I, I you got men that uh, sit right there and listen to chime right in too. Twist their toes up and some other shit. My thing is pillow talk don't have to always be messy either. You know, it can be about the children. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and that kind of stuff, I love talking about my girls and talking about your future plans and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Right, point. so sometimes pillow talk ain't even necessarily have to be messy. It can be right. bad or like, what we gonna go on the next vacation or Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. It could be I'm trying to save more money, but we can help me out what I'm doing. You can say start ordering stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, pillow talk can be positive. It can. Yeah. It can yeah. be positive. It doesn't have to be messy all the time. Now, even if you have a positive pillow talk, do you think that, um, or did you find in your past relationship that he still wanted to talk about that too? Or no? Like in your past relationship, you said that he didn't like doing a whole lot of pillow talk. And then you said like, they they get me. Like if you're talking about vacation or you talking about future plans, if you talking about I haven't had that because I haven't had I haven't uh, a mature man to talk uh, about that yet. So, me, yeah. me no. <laughs> me no. Yes, yes. no. I mean if we'll talk about he'll come back to the conversation tomorrow when your your mm-hmm. song or something or when he don't break and he got time. Like some guys really just yeah. get to pillow and they feel That's like true. a bedroom is it not for to be a, a whole a bunch of talking. Talk. It's true. Like we 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 go wind down and do what you got to do. Wind down, rub your feet, get your feet up, rub your feet, rub my feet, my back. We can be massaging each other. Mm-hmm. The pillow is meant to be slobbed on going to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. I be sitting there doing a whole bunch of stuff. And slobbing on the pillow and what else? Wait a damn thing. Slobbing on the pillow and everything else. Okay, what we got? Okay, we have underscore her talk on Instagram. She says yes, full of talk. It's talking about your day and sharing your goals, hopes, and dreams. So that's chiming off what Rashida was saying. Yeah. Yeah. It can be possible. Like, it can. It can be like, babe. Yeah, hey. You can actually have a pillow talk and just talk about, like I said, you can talk about work. You can talk about things you want to do. You can talk about your goals. Mm-hmm. But, like, Pike was just saying, too, a lot of guys don't want to sit and talk about that. Like, they Especially don't. Especially mature men don't want to talk about that. Yeah, they're tired. They mm-hmm. want to watch TV. They mm-hmm. want to relax. They want to do whatever you're going to do. Other than that, they want to mm-hmm. go to sleep. Mm-hmm. That's something that she's like, why didn't you talk to me about that early before we laid down? That's true. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Why are we talking about that now? But us girls, that's what we want to talk about everything mm-hmm. we want. Like, I be talking. And some guys will come back to it, like I said, the next day yeah. or when they thought about what you're saying. So mm-hmm. every guy is not ignoring your goals and, you know, right. positive things. They just, they just don't want to talk about it in the bedroom. Okay, so that's like what Mona Giles was saying. She says, guys that talk too much, I consider them as a BB, boy bitch. A straight okay, term. Where the damn bitch is? <laughs> BB, where the damn bitch is? She says a straight turn off. Yeah, right. turn off. Right, it is a straight turn off. Oh, that's boy, I'm going to use that one. I'm going to use that one. BB, hey, BB. He a BB. Hey, BB. And I ain't even got to cuss on my, on my own Facebook. I'm going to hit a BB. Yeah. BB, you don't care about the logo, girl. I'm gonna be, that's a BB. I'm going to be like, sure. BB. I don't want no BB. <laughs> Door policy, just like you want HR in your job. Mm-hmm. 
You gonna know what's going on. I mean, some things, some things I will wait, but my kids are different. So you can tell them the things you open to. I can put talk my children too. Y'all can talk my kids. I mean, I don't know if they put talk y'all children on iPhone talk. We text. Look, she been on that girl. Come here. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, you don't put talk. You put talk to your kids because let me tell you, it ain't always put talk. That's true. true. You didn't have the best friend language. Well, y'all done fell asleep, y'all done pull us off. That's another thing. Thing. It ain't always to pull us off with your significant other. Just pull us off. You pull us off your phone. So it's your mama's phone. You know what they call? Are you saying like on the phone? On the phone, random bed. No, random bed. You don't know random bed with your mama or your kids or your friends or something like that. I didn't know that. And y'all know pull us off with them? Yeah. Somebody not in the mood to have sex. 
and end up not having sex because you really need that talk. Mm -hmm. They might say, okay, I want to have sex, you know, trying to do whatever and have sex, but you really need a talk. You don't really feel like it because it's been a rough day at work. Right. Something could have happened, your supervisor could have pissed you off. So you really yeah. need them to talk to, but yeah, you don't want to have sex and they want to talk. Yeah. Well, let's talk about sex, baby. <laughs> let's talk about you and me. <laughs> Certain things should not be said in front of our kids, but we fight in front of our kids. We cuss in front of our kids. We need to do better, ladies. I feel pillow talk is for us, not our kids, but that is just my opinion. We talk shit about the fathers to the kids. Come on, we not right. That's true. Y'all feel like that? I have. I'm good to that, but I'm right. Right. So I want to be truthful, man. What TT is my TT. Um, I talk. I'm very gifted. I talk, talk to the kids, cuss, talk to the kids, cuss, fuss, and all of that. But yeah. um, of course I'm gifted. Yeah, I am too. Yeah, yeah I agree with. I agree with what you. Um, said. we must do better, but they must do better too. Mm-hmm. Cause I have to talk about. I have to right. talk about. Yeah, to talk, to talk. Right. When you get somebody something to talk about, they talk about. It. So if brother is with, and, and that's another thing. It ain't always you talking about your best friend. Mm-hmm. You can have a baby by somebody else, and you land with somebody else, and you can be talking about you be running your your, your kids' father down and down. Do y'all feel like that's wrong when you get to running your baby daddy down or something like that to your significant other? Um. Most mature men don't want to hear that shit. Right, they don't want to hear it. Um, I, I make it clear in the beginning. You know what it is. Like this, right? If you, you make, make it clear in the beginning, what it is, what it, it, you don't have to keep talking yeah. about it. Yeah, you don't have to keep talking about your baby daddy the whole time. Cause then the, the guy, the the new person, can take it that you might still feel like a certain still, kind of way yes. about the baby daddy. You and still have kind of feeling. So it's like if you just nip it this butt, like, look, you know, my baby daddy isn't really around. They don't really help me, boom. You don't have to keep talking it up no more. It's like if they already know what it is. And then if they're there and y'all are serious like that and they're around all the time or y'all live together, or even if they don't live with you, they come around, they'll see. Yeah. They'll, they'll see that they, that person. Yeah, but if they see it, they constantly see it and it pisses you off and you mad and you got an attitude mm-hmm. and you take it out on the household, you tend to it's talk true. about it. Mm-hmm. You can't just keep it to yourself. Yeah, talk. Mm-hmm. I, I, I met clients out. <laughs> It's mother, you know, yeah. such and such, yeah. and say, you know, do you hear this and this and third? Yeah. Yes, I'm mm-hmm. guilty of that. Also, yeah. I get a little talking. I will say it quick. So, how do your significant other feel about that if you talk about the baby dad a lot? On y'all pillow talk time. Again. Baby, I want to hear it. Shut it up. Shut it up right there. Uh, you talk, you talk about three different things, and they ain't pretty much that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, a, it's not, a, and, and again, a lot of us will mix that up with. You don't care about what I'm saying, like yeah, you mm-hmm. listen to me, like I'm spinning my guts out right here. You're not saying nothing bad. It's not that. Mm-hmm. It's not that. You know, some people really try to avoid things because they really sometimes don't even have the answer for. It. When something is constantly going on mm-hmm. and they want better for you, but they don't know the answer for it right then, they'll wait. If you ever had somebody that really don't say nothing to you then, but they'll come back and be like, I thought about what you said. And oh, yeah. I think you should, you know, such and such. Yeah. So don't always, and, and like I said, I, I, you know, we can get that wrapped up as if, like, this motherfucker not interested in what I'm saying, but why? It's not always they're not interested. They they're interested, but they just rather not speak on it if they don't have the proper answer for you at the moment. And I can respect that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can respect that. I can respect that. 
Okay, we have about 10 more minutes. Please don't forget to put your number 1 through 40, your senior graduate name, and their cash app. Go ahead and pick your number. We're going to be selecting a prize soon. So you know you can pull a talk with your kids about life, grades, um, school. That's true. Right. And let them know what they've been doing. Right. Um, what's going on with them? Everything. Yeah, what's going on with them? How, how they feeling? Um, That's what I haven't been talking about yet. Really. You know, what they're going to do future-wise. Um, a lot of our children are just becoming going into puberty mm -hmm. so their bodies are changing their attitudes are changing they're becoming who they're gonna be so mm -hmm. there's a lot of things you got to talk about with that um yeah. yeah we are what we eat so our kids are us so, so you do have to like have conversations with them whether it's at night before bed mm -hmm. or it's true. whatever just during the day just, just to see like what's what's up um. <laughs> okay, so don't you guys pull talk about wait a damn minute tonight? And if you do pull talk about it, let it be positive. Shout out here. Yeah. Say y'all be but go ahead. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Well, y'all pull up talk about wait a damn minute. Wait a damn minute. We have a prayer for us. Yes, yeah, they have a positive prayer. Right they're doing they're positive prayer. things. They get y'all all moving in the right yeah. direction. Um. Um, keep us lifted when you're talking about us. Encourage your significant other to go subscribe to the YouTube. <laughs> Follow us on Facebook. Right. And, and Follow us on Instagram. And how Share I, ideas. We're always open for ideas as well. How do I get PJs? Open for people that want to join <laughs> oh, yeah. um, our yeah. podcast. Mm -hmm. So, like, do those things when y'all talking about wait again a minute. And for your pillow yeah. talk. Let nothing negative yeah. come out your mouth about wait again. And check out roses for the PJ. That's it. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my girl's looping. Let me see. But you look, know, look, look, my girl looks fly. Like, look, paint. Let me tell you something about paint. Paint fly in the bed, bro. Baby, she pulled me that down. This is too damn heavy. Look, this shit is cute. Wait a damn minute. She was like, look at Shantae. They got fur and stuff. We call that book. We call me. I'm going to see y'all pictures. That's the bitches. Being supposed to be see y'all in my clothes. Cause yeah. I'm in my clothes. Cause I, I love pajamas. I, I love, I love fashion. Period. This don't say, this don't say love baker. I don't have baby. I love pajamas. So much. I think I might buy a pajamas. Might get a pajama line. Oh, that might be something. Girl. Yes. I might get a pajama line. I really. I want this. I'm in black, but I want you to put a nigga in the three X. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Cause the pink is what it is for that baby. <laughs> First Prince of Bethlehem. I said, 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 I um, go ahead and pitch y'all, um, y'all information out there so that y'all can get y'all get to go ahead. And congrats, congrats, yes. congrats to oh, 2020. Yes, yes. Y'all did a good job. I did a great job yesterday. I was so happy. Baby. Oh, yes. yes. And she was doing it. Well, thank you. She, she was so happy. Happy. She actually was prom slash graduation. She was just the most. But you know. She's like, why did you know that when she skipped her prom? She had to find it all. She yes. Had. Yes, tell us what we got, y'all. We ain't gonna ever forget this. Never no. forget it. And y'all did it, damn thing. Yes. Y'all made it, y'all did it. Keep striving, keep moving up. Yes. To the start. Like, yes. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't do. Y'all got through graduation during a pandemic. Yes. Y'all don't know how serious that is. Y'all don't know how big of a Ooh. blessing that that is. Young and old been down yeah. from this. And yeah. I'm just yeah. blessed that my baby is yeah. well. It's well. And to see her walk out, walk in there for five minutes. Mm -hmm. It meant earth in the world in my family. And me. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's yes. right. That's congrats right. to so all the parents. So congrats to all the parents. Y'all did an excellent job. Y'all yeah. 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 kept them kids yeah. motivated. Y'all pushed them and got them through. And, and I appreciate y'all for doing that because yes. e even if 
And Tommy Press, y'all, y'all chilling might not tell y'all, but y'all rock. Yeah. Y'all rock. We got something after the show. Mm. Okay. Okay. And also, don't forget, Sunday, 6 p.m., we have a special edition of Wait a Damn Minute. All men. Um, right. It's gonna be an all men um cast on Sunday. Um again, we have Ro um from Drinking on Sunday. Yes. We have Juan Gambrell. Okay, we yeah. have Super K and we have Cash. Okay. Um of Slum King. Y'all miss the mail. I'll tell y'all. Okay. So they all miss the mail. Wait, so they're gonna Y'all miss the mail. Yeah, we ain't talking about sex, baby. Let's talk about you 